So this morning, I got this email from YouTube, which said that my video, The Rise and Fall of the Wim Hof Method, had violated someone else's copyright and that all of the ad revenue from it was going to be redirected to this other person who actually owned my video. And I thought this was super weird because that video that I put out was, you know, I put a ton of work into it. it was, it's all original. And, uh, you know, this just, it seemed weird to me. So I clicked over on the copyright violation and it was from this Dutch uh, news network called BNN. And they have this video, like this TV program called like On The Matrix, where it, it's a talk show. And I watched it and the video was sort of crazy because what they were doing was basically taking my story on the Wim Hof method and the deaths of all the people and basically just regurgitating it on their national news program. And this reporter, Judy Smissingen, uh, had basically just repeated everything that I had said in the video. And then they ran clips of my video uh, on their nationally syndicated program. And then after that had done was done airing, they posted their clip onto YouTube and then they sent me a copyright uh, notification saying that I was stealing their content because they illegally stole my uh, materials. Yeah, I thought this was pretty freaking weird, but it just so happens that the way I published this video originally, I was very, very careful uh, and not only did I incorporate the company Pokey Bear LLC to rebrand all of my YouTube content, I also started registering my copyrights with uh, the United States Trademark and Copyright Office. Now, I registered my copyright on June 12th and the video aired on June 28th and their video, which used clips from my video, aired on December 14th you know, about six months later. They've used this to say that I have violated their copyright. So I read their email and, uh, and you know, I, I didn't like the fact that they, they redirected all of the advertising revenue from that. Not that I made that much. I mean, I think I've made, it's made about a thousand dollars. So, you know, it's not a, a highly monetized video, but there are things that, you know, I can potentially do with this. And I do even include at the bottom in the description of that video, I have a, 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 thing, a link saying, look, if you want to license some of this, you know, get in touch with me and we can work out how you can license my video. Well, I wrote them a letter back and I said, actually, you're the one who violated my copyright. And, and, and here's the weirdness of the copyright office in the United States is that if you've registered a copyright, there's something called statutory damages, uh, which means it's it's not really even about the value of the, the video you put out, that if you violate a copyright that was registered uh, with the government, uh, you can, um, and it was a willful violation, like someone just like blatantly stole your, your stuff and, you know, like took credit for it, um, you can get an award of $150,000 per her copyright violation. So I thought that was interesting. Well, they started a legal complaint against me. Maybe I should just send one back to them. After all, they're broadcasting it. They have a high production TV program and uh, you know it goes out to millions of people throughout Holland and they initiated a legal dispute against me. Well, Duty and uh, BNN Vara, which sounds a lot like CNN, um, I love you spreading the word about a very serious problem where 20 people have died doing the Wim Hof method in water. But if you're going to claim that you did that, my work, that the, my original reporting was your original recording, well, actually, I mean, technically, I think you owe me money, not the other way around. So, yeah, I just sent you a letter. I sent a note to my lawyers, and we'll just see where this goes, you know? I'm always happy to discuss a retroactive license for the material that you illegally used. You know how to get in touch with me because the information is in the descriptions of my video. Bye.